Right, uh, the video today is at, for, at the back of the, for the back of the shack for the grounding and bonding. And the sun's come out again. So, yeah, it's uh, it's quite a nice day today, to be fair. All right, let's look up here. Um, these are the type of ferrites I'm using. Uh, it's 31 mix. Um, so, for instance, these are used for uh, uh, 12 volts. Uh, I put it on the back of the radio, so uh, to stop noise coming down. And these are the ones that I use for. Uh, the power uh, power outlet, uh, the house big 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 uh, ferrite cars, and uh, you just wrap your two 40 volt leads uh, up in those, and these are um, snap-on cars for um, the antenna connections. Right, let's go down here. Yeah, it's uh, pretty hard to start. Right, we'll start off on the RF side. Um, I've upgraded the bus bar. I had an old made bus bar, but uh, I upgraded to uh, uh, this dobber. Um, it's got more connections on, and uh, while I was doing it, I just thought, yeah, I saved up, and basically I, I just upgraded. Uh, this is one inch braid, which goes to uh, every, every radio in this shack. Um, as you can see, um, just to keep the voltage and get rid of the RF, uh, that, this is why we ground uh, the station uh, to get rid of RF because you can get RF burns by touching the machines, uh, the, well, the radios. And uh, if you go close to the mic, you can get RF burns uh, on your lips. So, this is uh, the uh, uh, grounding side of things, and I've got uh, heavy duty. Um, earth strap, well earth wire, uh, forget the gauge of it now and it goes down to a five foot uh, uh, copper uh, grounding uh, rod. Uh, we'll have to stand up here. Well actually I'll just show you this while I'm here. So yeah I put all the uh, 240 volts on the back of the shack and uh, a bit further up here, hard to see because like I said uh, don't comment on me, <laughs> on me uh, cable management, but I'm always moving stuff around. And I bought these from uh, Martin Lynch's son. Um, they've got one on either side of the shack, just for the 12 uh, volt outlet, uh, the, the 20 amp, and uh, it's just a lot easier. One goes to uh, uh, a power supply, a Watson, and the other one over this side goes to a mass 20 amp power supply. And uh, yeah, like I say, just to keep everything uh, in, in order because he used to uh, just basically put everything to uh, the power supply, so yeah, a lot more tidier. But as you can see, the cable management isn't great. <laughs> but the, the only thing with me, I'm always moving stuff about, so if I start fixing stuff to uh, uh, the table, within two minutes, I'll be taking it off. Uh, right, let's go up here. Um, this is for noise reduction. Um, three one, uh, uh, 31 mix uh, ferrites, they're all 31 mix in this shack, uh, which is it's the best mix for uh, HF. If I go across here, you can see in on the linear, there's uh, ferrites for England. Um, and the actual noise, I got rid of one and a half S points, so uh, it certainly works. It, but uh, years ago, I didn't think of this to be fair. I used to put the choke at the antennas and just leave it. But um, it's not, it's the noise coming off um, wall warts, charges, etc. Because we are in a, um, uh, an environment where it's very noisy, especially for uh, amateur radio. Years ago, it was us giving uh, interference out to. Uh, your neighbours and now it's your neighbours uh, giving interference uh, to us. Um, God, God help us when uh, we've all got um, electric cars, the noise is going to be terrible. Right, just going over here, I don't know if I'll be able to get it but I'll try. Yeah, a bit shaky, yeah you can see it. Um, the uh, 240 outlet, you can see that uh, I put the two big ferrites on. Uh, like I showed you earlier on, and that's just to do the mains. And the computer uh, is, is full of ferrites. All the control leads, 
and everything uh, to the radios and obviously the internet coming in I've put these ferrites on you can actually buy uh, from DX Engineering uh, it's a filter called um, ISO Plus but uh, I'm just going to my pocket so basically I've just put ferrite beads and I put ferrite beads on the uh, on the hub in the uh, in the hall where the internet comes in um, these beads as well you, at Palomar you can actually buy um, little units RF, RF, RFI units that, that plug into the uh, radio as well uh, but it's money but Palomar is very good for uh, RF bonding and grounding uh, especially for the noise reduction they've got loads of noise reduction kit but uh, what happens is uh, you run out of money, that's, that's like myself. Um, I'm going to upgrade um, this as well, uh, but like I said, I've run out of money. So uh, the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to uh, be doing the antennas. I'm going to get a waterproof um, uh, case and I'm going to put some uh, uh, lightning arrests in them. Because um, at the moment, they're just coming into the shack. Um, so, well, you disconnect when the when the uh, if you thunder and lightning is coming. I don't know if you will be able to see the ground rod down here. Nah, it's too overgrown. But uh, yeah, just a quick look at the back of the shack, and uh, like I said, uh, the bound uh, the bonding grounding and bonding is to keep RF away from the shack, uh, so you're not getting any RF burns and obviously RF flying around the shack and knocking your computers off, and. Uh, the, the ferrites on the actual um, coax connections that's to actually get noise out of it out of uh, the the, uh, the lines because it comes down on the uh, outer shield of the coax and uh, you end up with noise coming in from your neighbors just a quick one as well can't see but uh, we'll guess we'll guess uh, that's the inverted L I, I forgot to put this in the in the last one it goes to the pole and uh, it's up to 30 feet and it comes down uh, I'll have to learn how to uh, zoom in yeah and as I said before it, it pulls away let's see if I can see it, oh yeah so uh, it pulls away the, 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 the uh, CG3000 on the back of that fence and it comes over here and it's basically it's just pulling uh, this vertical away from the pole goes up 30 feet and then comes back to the house uh, which I'm guessing where it is hopefully I'm getting it anyway nice sunny day again so uh, you can't see what you're uh, looking at so I hope that's been uh, some help uh, oh yeah I didn't show the 12 volt sign uh, 12 volt sign all the radios I put the uh, toroid cores on uh, to try and suppress noise I've just seen them on the Palomar kits and I've just done it myself uh, but I've certainly no noticed some difference uh, of uh, of noise in the shack so okay I'm going to send 7-3 uh, that's the back of the table of G0 DTX G1 I've said uh, I'm Radio Shack and uh, I'll be putting this up I hope you like it and I hope uh, You've got some decent information off it, uh, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, if 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 you're an old at, uh, you'll know what I've been talking about, uh, and you could have probably put it better. Be fair. Um, on that note as well, if you um, go on YouTube and put in Ward Silver grounding and bonding, uh, that guy seems to be the black belt in uh, grounding and bonding. Uh, you can buy his uh, book off uh, the RSGB. If you remember, it's 19 quid. If you're a non-member, I think it's £22. Yeah, gra grounding and bonding from uh, Ward Silver. Okay, I'm going to send 7-3. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye for now.